The spread of the Omicron variant among children has one school district returning to class a day late in the new year. Fox 13 reporter Frankie Thompson brings us the details on how Seattle Public Schools plans to offer rapid COVID testing to thousands of students and staff. The return from winter break just got one day longer for Seattle Public Schools. Classes canceled on January 3rd, and opportunity for COVID-19 testing district-wide will take its place. Our goal is to help minimize the transmission of the virus. Uh, we want to reduce the intermittent disruptions to in-person learning. Uh, 80 to 90 percent of positive cases are asymptomatic. So the goal here is to identify any cases before school resumes or quickly uh, thereafter. Spokesperson Tim Robinson says the district will offer 60,000 rapid antigen tests for students and staff. Whitman Middle School is one of 12 schools where the voluntary test will be available. Robinson says COVID-19 cases, including the highly contagious Omicron variant, have been detected within SPS, with more than 100 cases reported the week of December 17th. And we did see a spike in mid-December. That went down a little bit among our students uh, leading up to Christmas, and we're still waiting for the latest data that'll take us up to the present time. Robinson says the anticipated data, as well as results from the upcoming rapid test, will help the district determine if classrooms will stay open. We are prepared to temporarily pivot to online remote learning if necessary. That is not necessary right now. Um, it could be with a class. It could be with a school. I mean, there are too many scenarios to talk about to, uh, reasonably. But um, the fact is, is we will take any measures that are necessary all under the guidance of uh, public health. Washington State Department of Health says an outbreak in K through 12 classrooms is defined as at least three confirmed cases or 10% of the class affected by COVID. With the positivity rate increasing across the region, DOH officials say they anticipate temporary classroom or school closures. And the other aspects that can contribute into a potential closure of a classroom or a school are the availability of staff to support um, the general operations of the school and health and safety of the students. Um, so those are factors that, and decisions that are made at the local level. Robinson says the district will resume school in person on January 4th, but the rapid test will soon tell if that changes for individual classrooms and schools. The health and safety of our students and staff is our top priority, and we want to minimize the spread of the COVID virus. And so testing is one tool to do that. Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.